Hey friends, how is everyone doing? I hope everyone is safe. I hope everyone is staying inside. I hope everyone is doing good. And I I miss you guys. Um, I found a special book that a lot of my friends in preschool like to watch. It's called Max and Ruby. And I didn't know they had books. They Max and Ruby treasure hunt. So I think they're gonna go on a special treasure hunt. And let's get started. See what they do. Okay. <laughs> it's a really big book, so. Okay. Let's have a tea party, said Max's sister, Ruby. Good idea, said Ruby's best sister, best friends, Louise. There was not a cloud in the sky, but suddenly. <gasps> Crash! Bang! went the thunderstorm just when Ruby was pouring a cup of pretend tea for Louis's little sister, Lily. Oh no, just like today it's raining. Lily grabbed her doll, Dagmar, and everybody ran into the house as fast as they could. <laughs> rain, rain, go away, said, sis said Ruby. Come again another day, said Louise. Everybody wants to play, chimed in Max. Grandma heard every word. See? Let's have a treasure hunt, said Grandma. How does it work, asked Louise. There are seven clues hidden in the seven places in the house, said Grandma. Follow the clues one after another and you'll find the treasure. Where do we begin, asked Ruby. Let me see, said Grandma. Let's start with cock-a-doodle-doo. My dame has lost her, oh dear, something or other. Who can think of what she lost? What goes cock-a-doodle-doo? -doo? Hmm. What rhymes with cock-a-doodle-doo? -doo? Asked Ruby. My dame has lost her shoe, said Louise. Look, shouted Lily. Look, they found a clue in the shoe. There's a Max, there's a Max sneaker under the chair. Sure enough, under the easy chair was Max's blue sneaker. Inside was the first clue. Ruby, read it out loud. It says clue one. I'm a little blank, short and stout. Tip me over and pour me out. Do you guys know that, that song? Let's see. I know, said Louise. She looked in the dining room cupboard. She took out the teapot. Inside the teapot was the second clue. Louise read it. See? Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the... Oh, what, what? He jumped over. Everyone guessed what might rhymed with quick. Lily got it right. Quick, quick. Candlestick. Jack jumped over a candlestick. The third clue was in the hall under one of the candlesticks. Lily found it. She could not read yet, so Louise read it for her. That was nice of Louise. See? It's clue three. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the... What did the dish run away with? Do you remember that song? It has to rhyme with moon, said Ruby. So is it moon, raccoon, June... Balloon. Let's see. This time, Max guessed right. He said, spoon. 
moon, spoon. Max was the first one to get to the pantry silverware drawer. Sure enough, in the spoon slot was the next clue. Oh, look, he made such a mess, all the spoons fell. Hooray, shouted Max. Max couldn't read the clue, so Ruby had to do it for him. See, clue four. Miss Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, 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 with silver, blank, 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 all down her back, back, back. Hmm, what is that song? Her silver what? This one isn't a rhyming clue, said Ruby. What could Miss Mary Mac have down her back, asked Louise. Mac said a spider, Ruby said a snake, Louise said a bug. And let's see what Lily said. Everyone had an idea, but Lily knew the rhyme by heart. She led the, she led the way upstairs to the closet. On the shelf was Grandma's sewing box. Silver buttons, said Louise. In the sewing box was another clue. See, clue five, let's see what the next clue is. Little boy blue, come blow your blank. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. What could it be, asked Louise. Blow your horn? How about the car horn, asked Ruby. Garage, says Max. Ruby was right. On the steering wheel of Grandma's red Chevrolet was the next clue. Look at that. Right there. Ruby pushed the button and put the top down. The clue said, clue six, hickory dickory duck, the mouse ran up the, what did the mouse run up the? Duck, said Louise, what rhymes with duck? They thought lock, rock, sock, block, smock, or flock. What do you think it might be? The mouse ran up the clock, said Max. But there was nothing under the alarm clock in the bedroom. There was nothing under the clock radio in the guest room. Suddenly, Louise heard it. Bum, bum. Oh, let's see what kind of clock this is. It was the grandfather clock in the living room. This is called a grandfather clock. Downstairs, they all went. Ruby opened the door of the big grandfather clock. Inside was the last clue. It said, oh, the last clue, clue seven. Uh, pussy cat, pussy cat, where have you been? I've been to London to visit the queen. Pussy cat, pussy cat, what did you there? I frightened a little mouse under. What? Blank, blank. Max bolted for the screen porch. He opened the door. Under Grandma's chair was the treasure box. Max was the first to open it. Inside were five gold coins filled with chocolate. Ooh, they are too beautiful to eat, said Ruby. But there are only four of us and five coins, said Louise. One for Dagmar, said Grandma. Dagmar, Lily shouted. Where is Dagmar? Did you leave her in one of the clue locations, said Grandma. She's a, a stuffed animal. Maybe, but which one, said Ruby. Dining room hall, pantry, closet, garage, bedroom, living room. There were so many clues in different locations. No one could remember where Dagmar might have been lost. 
So it said, is Dagmar in the dining room? Is Dagmar in the hall? Is Dagmar in the pantry? Is Dagmar in the closet? Is Dagmar in the garage? Is Dagmar in the bedroom? Is Dagmar in the living room? No, Max found Dagmar. Let's see where he found Dagmar. In the parlor, right where Lily left her. Hooray! The end. That's the end of Max and Lily's treasure hunt. Maybe it'd be a good idea for you guys to do a little treasure hunt in your homes. That'd be fun to do with your moms and daddies or your aunts and uncles or whoever adult is there with you. Um, I really enjoyed reading this book to you guys. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.